Welcome back to Saturday's Sports Special. Now, action on the penultimate day of the J3A's Ministry of Sports. Supreme Ventures Senior National Championship is winding down at the National Stadium. Supreme Ventures National Senior and Junior Championships 2021. Alrighty, and for the very latest, let's now join Kayon Reyna on location at the stadium. Kayon. Thank you very much, Spencer Darlington. And we're at the penultimate day of the championships, of course. We can tell you that Shanika Rickett, the World Championship triple jump silver medalist, well, she easily secured a third national title in that event. And she jumped to 14.46 meters on her first attempt. Now, depending on how the camera works, we might actually see her go and consult with her husband, I mean, her coach. Sorry. <laughs> you, no, you wouldn't be wrong either way. No, no, no. I, I think at the stadium, <laughs> it's, it's coach, coach and athlete. athlete. Of course, Ricketts securing a spot to a second Olympic Games. On the track, I can tell you that the 2019 World Championship 800 meters finalist, Natoya Gould, well, she won an eighth national title to secure her spot to the Tokyo Olympics. No stepping forward is Gabrielle Wilkinson from the University of Florida. As she hits the 150 mark now, it's Natoya Gould topping with the advantage. Wilkinson steps into second place. Kayla Johnson in third. And no, the early running starting to tell for Jasmine Frey. It is Natoya Gould who has the advantage. The clock says 151. Natoya Gould stepping towards the line. It's Natoya Gould topping who will get it. It's eight straight for Natoya Gould. And it's round about 158. Clock didn't stop. I've got one. Of course, Gould's winning time, one minute, 57.84 seconds, a new stadium record and a season's best time. Elsewhere in the 400 meters, world championship bronze medalist from 2013, Stephanie Ann McPherson. Well, she set the fastest time going into Sunday's final of the 400 meters, 50.18 seconds. Vision. McPherson with the lead, Cherokee Young left behind just a touch. Yannick McNeil trying to get into the picture. And Janelle Bromfield left all the way on the outside. A real battle on for second place as Stephanie and McPherson has the advantage. Cherokee Young starting to motor. Tiffany James right beside her. So it's uh, Stephanie and McPherson who starts the clock at 50.17. Cherokee Young comes through for second and looks as if Tiffany James former national junior champion and a former senior champion christopher taylor he was quickest in the men's equivalent moving into the final 50.31 seconds put foot to gas as they come off the curve christopher taylor now getting into the picture rasheed mcdonald left behind and has work to do the national record holder at this point is out of it uh, bartley in that red going strong christopher taylor looking across to his left rasheed mcdonald trying to get into third place christopher taylor gets it ahead of bartley on the outside though it's javier brown from jamaica college and uh, with the 200 meters semi-finals have been completed so far and the main contenders in the women's sprint half lap event have all made progress elaine thompson era 22.90 seconds won her her semi-finals sharika jackson 22.20 Two eight a season's best also made progress looking quite easy and Shelly and Fraser Price the world leader in the 100 meters with a 10.63 22.40 season's best she did to make progress to the final tomorrow reporting from day three of the national senior and junior track and field championships here at the national stadium I'm Keon Reina reporting for TVJ Sports Spencer Thank you very much, Kay. On the sprint hurdles, semis are.